He's got almost 40 city championship wins, about 25 state championship wins, 7 regional wins, and so far, 6 international national wins. All Justin Masters. His name is Lux John, and he's the winningest deck of our format right now. Reggie rocking with my nonsense and hopeless token products. You won't stop till you're about to the top with all the hot bips. Hit with the metagame train, the reigning top chin's at the top of his game, and you can't hit on top this. You want the best tricks? I suggest you profit. You want a mess for it? I suggest you profit. Once we started rolling, you know you can't stop it. Let's go and get some lessons from Jay Wits and Profit. Yeah. So, as you guys may or may not know, I did an extensive review on all the different kinds of SP decks about four months ago. It's the series of part 1, 2, and 3 of episode 7, where I talk about the SP decks, the SP engine, and all the techs that you can play inside of SP decks. If you're unfamiliar with the SP engine or anything SP, be sure to check out those episodes first. Now I originally said that Straight Lux Chomp, or Lady Gaga as we used to call it in that time, was the third best SP deck of its time, but after Double Colorless has been released, Lux Chomp quickly shot up to number 1. Luxchomp, like our national winning Luxape deck of last season, has no inherent combo or synergy. It's just a mashup of two of the best SP Pokemon in the game. The strategy is different for each matchup, but it usually involves quick knockouts before your opponent can get set up. Luxury GL Level X has one of the best powers in the game, Bright Look, which allows you to pull up any Pokemon on your opponent's bench up to the active spot. You can use this to get an easy knockout, pull up a high retreat Pokemon to leave your opponent stuck, or ruin your opponent's setup. Flash Impact does 60 damage with just one energy and an energy gain, which is extremely fast. The free retreat is also amazing. Garchomp C level X is used in a similar vein as Luxray, and then it can get quick and easy knockouts. Dragon Rush is a huge bonus for Garchomp, now that Double Colorless has been released, which allows you to deal 80 damage to anywhere on your opponent's field. This is great for quick knockouts and getting rid of key setup Pokemon like Claydol, and at the cost of only one energy, it's extremely strong. Garchomp's power, Healing Breath, is also incredible, which lets you take all damage counters off your SP Pokemon when you put them down. Combined with Free Retreat, Garchomp is one of the most well-rounded cards in the game. The engine is the same as ever, and you can view my old analysis of those cards here. Cyrus's Conspiracy allows you to grab a supporter, basic energy, and a Team Galactic's Invention, all at once. The inventions are amazing in SP as well. They range from Poketurn, which is an auto-head super scoop up for SP Pokemon, Power Spray, which lets you block an opponent's Poke Power during their turn, Energy Gain, which cuts the cost of your SP attacks by one colorless energy, and SP Radar, a Bay Bay search for SP Pokemon that is a trainer card instead. Luxchomp carries a heavy line of all of these tools, and is extremely versatile to any situation with them. Your energy line will usually end up being between 10 and 12, with a full 4 double colorless energy, lightning, call, and a psychic energy for the Toxicroak G promo. Most Lux Chomps have standard techs and specific techs. The standard techs are needed for many situations and are seen in almost every build, like Bronzong G for moving energy from one SP Pokemon to another, Crobat G for dropping a crucial damage counter on the board, and Lucario GL for taking advantage of any weakness that Luxchomp can hit, making it times two. Some specific techs are like Ambipom G, which can one-hit KO rival Garchomp C with no energy on it, and the Toxicroak G promo, which is the best counter against other Luxray GL level Xs. Anything else that you tech into your SP deck will either be to add consistency, like adding more Bebe Search or Pokemon Communication, or to cover your weaknesses. Luxchomp is a great Nationals play because it can win or make a good game out of any situation. It beats several decks, especially ones with lightning weaknesses, and it can make a good game out of anything else. Without text though, it has three big problems. Mewtwo Level X, Machamp, and Donphan Prime. Mewtwo Level X is a problem for Luxchomp because if it's given the opportunity to level up, you won't be able to damage it. Mewtwo's body prevents effects and damage from all basic Pokemon which make all SP Pokemon unable to hit it. Sometimes you can take prizes off the bench against it if they're still there, but if you're facing a lone Mewtwo level X, you'll automatically lose without a counter. The two best counters I've seen to use against Mewtwo X are Miss Magius, 
who is an evolved Pokemon that can one-shot Mewtwo with three tools in play for no energy, or playing your own Mewtwo X, which will force your opponent to play more Pokemon on their bench if they're down in prizes. Machamp is a problem that I've discussed in my earlier episodes. His attack takeout automatically KOs unevolved Pokemon for one energy, which can clearly plow through your whole field if you have no counters. Unknown G is the natural solution to this because it prevents all effects of an attack, and takeout being an effect of an attack will do nothing if you have it attached. To knock out Machamps, a common counter is using Uxie Level X combined with Lucario GL, who can hit Machamp for 120 damage using Zen Blade with a double colorless, or even get a knockout if you use a Crobat Drop or Expert Bell. Donphan is a newly arising problem for Luxchomp as it sees more and more increase in play. Donphan has the Luxray resistance, can one-shot Luxray, and can prevent 20 additional damage from every attack with his body. Taking down Donphan can be extremely hard for your traditional Luxchomp build, and if your area is full of Donphan, a Quagsire GL counter might be the best. For a water and a double colorless, Quagsire GL can hit Donphan for 80 or 120 if you have an expert belt attached before being reduced by Donphan's body. Then you can switch out to a Crobat G, whose Donphan resistance will usually prevent a knockout. And then you can switch out and attack again with Quagsire for the knockout. You can also attempt to double poison Donphan with Crobat G's attack, which is another good option. With only a few big weaknesses, Luxchomp is a fantastic deck and definitely worth testing for nationals. And here's how Battle Roads is going after week two. I got third at my Battle Road in Salem, Wisconsin with Uxie Donk, my cousin Zach won with Blaze Chomp, and second place was Rob Downs, also with Uxie Donk. On a national scale, it looks like the three big decks to look out for right now are Jumpluff, Luxchomp, and Sableock in Masters. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Profit. Be sure to check out the new discussion module on the top of the Thudge A. Wits page on YouTube if you haven't already, where you can submit any kind of deck idea or concept that you'd like to hear for next week's episode. Each poll ends on midnight on Wednesday, and you can vote on any idea that you like that somebody else has submitted. I'll take all your submissions into consideration when I'm picking the next episode, and it should be good because you guys will get the episodes that you want to hear about. And that's all I got to talk about. Have a nice weekend. Peace. Today's information-filled profit episode was brought to you by Stop2Shop.com, and they've got a special offer for you. If you use the coupon code PROF-IT, all caps, you get 15% off your full order. Stop2Shop.com offers a wide selection of decks, packs, single cards, sleeves, and they offer $1.99 shipping for up to 100 single cards. Be sure to check them out for your Pokemon card needs, and thanks for sponsoring Profit.